friends you all are familiar with the term consciousness and you know that it is not easy to explain what consciousness is consciousness has been an enigma and hence a challenging concern for philosophers right from the ancient times the meaning of the term has not been the same throughout certain philosophical schools focus primarily on the phenomenological and spiritual dimensions of consciousness in general consciousness encompasses two different concepts the notion of a self and the feeling of which the self is aware consciousness is a kind of bipolar medium of which the one pole the subject is referred to the other pole the object by the relation of being conscious of if anything is conscious it must be conscious of something a conscious being p is conscious of q if p is aware of q and p is aware of the awareness of p although consciousness is hard to define most people have an idea of what it is according to roger penrose and stuart hemroff there are three stances among philosophers or researchers regarding the possibilities of origin and place of consciousness in the universe one science or materialism consciousness is assumed to be epiphenomenal that is a secondary effect without independent influence consciousness is an illusion consciousness is not an intrinsic feature of the universe as per this stance to dualism or spirituality here consciousness is outside science consciousness is a separate quality distinct from physical actions and not controlled by any physical law 3 science with the consciousness here consciousness is an essential ingredient of physical laws not yet fully understood consciousness results from discrete physical events these events are beyond the reach of the laws known to us at present however in course of time with new insights and developments such events too will be scientifically describable this is basically the type of view put forward in a scientific framework in the penrose hemroff theory of orchestrated objective reduction or orch or which is considered as a part of collapse of wave function described by quantum mechanics penrose explains consciousness as a subjective and phenomenal experience of internal and external worlds according to him consciousness implies a sense of self feelings choice control of voluntary behavior memory thought language and internally generated images and geometric patterns but what consciousness actually is remains unknown as consciousness and related phenomena are of quantum mechanical origin as we have seen the quantum mechanical wave function and its collapse deserve our special attention the idea of wave function in quantum mechanics and its indeterministic collapse during measurement are perhaps the most controversial problems in physics today and have attracted much attention of philosophers most of the problems related to measurement and collapse are not only due to the intrinsic revolutionary nature of quantum mechanics they are also related to the fact that in its standard formulation and interpretation quantum mechanics is a theory which is excellent in presenting everything about what we observe but it meets with serious difficulties in telling us what is the collapse has got much attention owing to its understanding in association with the consciousness here three different interpretations of the collapse are analyzed let us see them one by one john newman in a logically rigorous way tried to establish the probable role of consciousness in the collapse of wave function he argued that quantum theory makes physics encounter with the consciousness inevitable with an example of an atom simultaneously in two boxes newman concluded that only a conscious observer during something that is not encompassed by physics can collapse a wave function 
His proposal that a conscious observer is responsible for the collapse of wave function cannot be incorporated into the present quantum theory due to the anthropomorphic elements present in his conclusions. Copenhagen interpretation says that once a quantum system, say a photon or electron, interacts with a specific detector, the probability to be detected for all other electron or proton available on the spot vanishes. The weight collapse is not fitting to the context since it implies some significant physical process. Probability like information is neither matter nor energy. No messages or signals can be sent using this collapse of probability. According to Bohr, quantum reality does not provide a picture of reality not because that quantum mechanical formalism is incomplete, but it is the way the ultimate reality of nature is. The subtlety of nature prevents it from describing reality in concrete terms appealing to common sense. According to Heisenberg, the reduction of the quantum state or collapse is not a physical but rather a mathematical process. The wave function is devoid of any physical reality but rather is a mathematical representation of the knowledge of the observer. This interpretation grants a unique status to the observer as the knowledge of the observer causing the collapse. Schrodinger's cat paradox, though simply a hypothetical event, was supposed to be a reply to this sort of observer-created reality. It has been found that the crux of a few significant quantum interpretations such as Bohmian mechanics, many worlds interpretation, decoherence approach, etc. is the measurement problem or collapse. All these apparently diverse perspectives on quantum reality have a common ground which might be related to consciousness. Consciousness has been argued to be a sequence of discrete moments. These discrete moments could be interpreted as the result of a process called orchestrated objective reduction or SOVA, where the fundamental mechanism is the collapse of quantum mechanical wave function as proposed by Penrose and Hemroff. Penrose argued that consciousness emerging in a non-computable process occurs in brain for which collapse of quantum mechanical wave function is the possible physical basis. Penrose later revised this theory a couple of times taking into account certain parameters. According to Penrose, objective reduction represents neither randomness nor algorithmic processing but instead a non-computable influence in space-time geometry from its mathematical understanding and by later extension consciousness derived. Joining with the Penrose, Stuart Hembrough suggested that the objective reduction takes place in microtubules which are composed of tubulin protein dimer subunits. Though the foundation of this theory seems questionable, there is an insight into a possible future as well as a breakthrough for science, especially for physics. Though Penrose explains consciousness as awareness, subjective phenomenal experience of internal and external worlds, a sense of self, feelings, choice, control of voluntary behavior, memory, thought, language and several other parameters, he does not try to analyze the features of each one of these dimensions. He assumes that the mentioned expressions of human mind or brain affirm the existence of consciousness. Orchovar theory seems as a quantum mechanical speculation. It does not provide any further opening to continue research. It looks to be close at halfway. The incompleteness theorem of Gordon and the non-measurable nature of consciousness are not sufficient to correlate collapse of wave function to the origin of consciousness. The collapse of wave function is a mathematical perspective and it is not reasonable to see it as a physical process which is incomplete as interpreted by Roger Penrose. However, Orch our theory is appreciable as a scientific attempt to unravel the mystery dimension of consciousness. The Orch our theory can be treated as a quantum mechanical model for explaining the origin of human consciousness. A few other models are also emerging to explain consciousness, namely Neuro model, non computational mathematical model, and artificial intelligence model. I would like to focus on 
artificial intelligence ai as a tool to analyze the functions of consciousness as ai is experimentally more viable computational means algorithmic and non computational means non algorithmic here it should be noted that chaos analog signals and random signals too are computational examples for non computational entities include knowledge consciousness and numbers computationalism is the theory according to which the human brain is essentially a computer this never means that it is like a digital computer with a stored program which can communicate to other electronic equipments artificial intelligence explores computational models of problem solving most ai researchers are computationalists to some extent in the case of phenomenal consciousness researchers who believe that ai can solve it or model it are a tiny minority in fact computationalism is not a theory but rather a working hypothesis assumption or dogma such a stance is necessary in order to begin with an analytical approach to consciousness if one researcher assumes the non computability of consciousness in the beginning of the work itself nothing would be done from an analytical as well as mathematical perspective in fact each phenomenon needs its own mathematical formulation to be analyzed after exercising the mathematical operations the conclusions may be scientifically analyzed and philosophically evaluated in the case of consciousness such a scientific approach which would lead to the experiential mathematics for consciousness is necessary we all know that computer programs enable computers to show that they are intelligent as we observe the same in human beings however whether computers and hence ai have understanding and awareness as part of the intelligent operations they perform remains a relevant question according to penrose the possession of genuine intelligence requires genuine understanding our intuitive concept of understanding is as something that is necessary for intelligence then an argument which establishes the non computational nature of understanding will also establish the non computational nature of intelligence awareness is an essential ingredient of our understanding and that understanding must be a part of any genuine intelligence when we look into consciousness with various technological or mathematical tools a reasonable conclusion is that it cannot be fully computational or non computational consciousness is an entity with a certain computational dimensions example intelligence communication skills as well as a few non computational dimensions example free will awareness and understanding those certain dimensions of consciousness are not clear to us at present in course of time with developments in brain sciences a few hidden parameters related to understanding and awareness may become computational however the influence of environment is important in the life and growth of any human being and this environmental factor which includes the time culture and social system one belongs to is beyond any computation it is expected that consciousness is very much related to several quantum phenomena for example quantum entanglement quantum decoherence etc next video is on quantum entanglement thank you